Hello and welcome. Uh, we're Beehive Quilt Shop. I'm Anna Rose. And I'm Dana Kaler. And we have a, a really cool thing that we did with our long arm. So um, we are friends with Bluebird Machine Quilt in Wichita, Kansas. And she had this genius idea um, to help. It's what is it called? A life hack for the clam up bag. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dana, can you tell us what we've sure. done with this clam up thing? So on the clam up bag, they actually have you make templates to cut the the bag out and then they also have you once it's cut out stitch a quarter or an eighth of an inch all the way around it mm -hmm. so what Annette amazingly discovered and has shared with us is that and it, you'll notice on here that you can go ahead and quilt your fabric and then stitch out the the template the climb up template and then stitch in a quarter of an inch from that. You will then, I mean an eighth of an inch, I'm sorry. So then you will cut on the outer line. And then we also stitched across at the bottom where you have to stitch it later so it'll set flat like the demo that we have here. So it takes away a number of the steps it makes it far easier it eliminates purchasing plastic and making a template mm -hmm. because it's already designed and um, stitched on your fabric mm -hmm. it to takes scale. away the eighth of an inch stitching around the edge of it and then it also puts and, in your stitching on the bottom that's to reduce the loftiness of the foam correct right when yes. you stitch around it yeah so Dana teaches a lot of our bag classes um, here at Beehive Quilt Shop, and we have be we have retreats too, so you can always yes. look for that. Um, but this is uh, Jan who also does bags, and she picked this Rifle Paper Company mm -hmm. fabric out, um, which is a canvas, and and put it with a cotton fabric. So this uh, this canvas is really pretty, but you can intermix uh, canvas fabrics and quilting cottons um, to do these clam up bags. But sometimes they'll shrink differently, so. Uh, if you're a long arm and you're interested in knowing more about this, you can um, reach out to us. But this just, we think it's amazing. And did you One tell me to get you a book? thing yeah. is you can actually, uh, the pattern says to make five of them, it, you take about a yard. You'll need about a yard of fabric. Um, this is one yard of fabric, and we were able to get 10 bags. So you can vary it depending on if you wanted smaller bags, you could even get more. Mm -hmm. But another beauty of this is you can have more bags. Yeah, so it's just very cool. Um, so again, this, and it has a bonus, bonus, size. is there a bonus size? Yes, so Annette also, made one of uh, her customers wanted a bag that was even larger than the extra large bag, so we mm -hmm. call it the double X. And it's basically 150% bigger than the largest one. Mm -hmm. And so that bag is in here as well, plus the others. Yeah, so sizes. you'll want to, um, so if you're planning on making the clam up, you'll for sure still want to purchase the Buy Annie Clam Up Bag pattern. Mm -hmm. um, she has an add-on video that's an additional $5 if you want to. Um, you can look up the fabric requirements online, but I love how this makes it really efficient. I love that you can use the long arm. Um, and, and it just so will the customer. Yes, and then the our favorite thing is Sally Tomato um, zippers by the yard um, pieces. So this is um, one of Sally Tomato zippers. In case you were watching and thinking about <laughs> that, so um, we hope you enjoyed um, learning our little um, saving time thing with a long arm and the clam up pattern. So thanks for watching. Thank you.